Hi, this is Mike Palmer with Group One Trading. This is Volatility 4 and 1. We've had a bit of a rocky week in the market. We had a big sell off earlier this week, but over the last two days, we've seen markets rally, and accordingly, we've seen the VIX pull back. It was trading above 20, now we're below 18. This is what you would expect. Now, in the environment where we start seeing markets rallying and volatility coming in, we actually see volatility VIX options doing similar. We see people start to sell those front month options. They sell the options that are going to decay the fastest. In this case, that is October. October expires next week, October 16th. And that should be an interesting expiration because there's a regular monthly one, but it is also one that we see that is uh, kind of coming off the heels of what has been a pretty volatile month uh, of late. Last couple of weeks have been volatile uh, compared to what we saw a little bit prior to that. Now, what is interesting to me right now is, is that we're seeing October volatility is coming in. We're seeing the October future coming in. But the November future actually is still a little bit ele elevated. It's actually trading parity with December. Now, December future always trades a little bit lower because it is pricing off the January S&P 500 options, which includes three holidays, Christmas, New Year's, Martin Luther King. That said, November is a little bit elevated here, and I think that could make sense because of what we're seeing in European markets. That is October volatility, December volatility, but November is higher due to the potential of turmoil surrounding Brexit. I think that as we get closer to the October 31st Brexit deadline, we could see some of that volatility seep into our markets, still much more pronounced in European markets than in our own markets. But as you get closer to that deadline, we could see that bleed factor come in. And I think we're starting to see ever so slightly the signs of that. And they would see that in November futures, November options. But until then, right now, all eyes are on the October options. We expire again Wednesday of next week. Uh, and it should be a pretty interesting expiration because we've been moving around quite a bit over the last few days. That's going on in the VIX. This is Mike Palmer with Group One Trading. This is Volatility 4 and 1.